Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, September 16th. And this is the Massey Ferguson 6S by KRKZ Modding 21.47 megabytes download. This is for all platforms. I'm on PS5. And being on console, it is 23 slots on console. It is a medium tractor, so thus we will find it under medium tractors. For me, it's all the way to the end, and there it is, the Massive Ferguson MF6S, $125,000 for the base model, which is fairly reasonable, up to 180 horsepower. The Dana 6, uh, although that's one of the transmissions, 280 liters of fuel, 34 miles per hour, nice, and uh, 7 tons. Now, as a base model, you have um those stats there however configurations we have standard and this has to do with the front end so uh, we have a uh, weight now standard notice the front loader attacher is available but once you put a weight on no front loader attacher available all the way up to 850 extra kilograms for weight once we go to the front hydraulic three-point link the front loader attacher reappears so we'll leave it there with the uh, three-point link wheel brands we have several trailerborg michelin all of them actually continental midas bkt vertice nokian and back to trailerborg in trailerborg we have the usual suspects nothing unusual anywhere in the tire choices We'll just ramble or raffle through them. The, the weight style changes for some of them. Some of them, the weight looks uh, somewhat different. We have a larger weight there or a smaller weight. A BKT, again, some tire choices. Uh, you know the deal. Nokian, we have uh, the three varieties of Nokian tires. Back to Trailerberg. So the we have a narrow and twin wheels eleven thousand dollars that's pretty standard roof setup we have default which is nothing or if you want to go to the gps style roof um if you want to spend the extra money i wouldn't wheel offset this is something we've seen with his other uh mods uh yes yes three and yes and no so yes a little narrower regular is that and then we have two wider options <clears throat> very interesting only 150 bucks for that offset i would say i would go with that it helps with stability here we have the front loader attachment option only with the uh, no front end uh, weight or a, a three-point link quickie hower no so 1500 dollars there engines here we go it gets a little bit interesting here we have the 135 horsepower Dana 6 transmission as a base uh, <clears throat> model offering. We can move that up to the Dana VT, which is an automatic. Uh, we go up to the 145 in the transmit, the standard manual, and then automatic, and then uh, the 155 standard automatic. 165 standard automatic and then 180 is only available in the automatic uh, constant velocity transmission main colors we have let's make it green that will make that green and design color is going to change the color of your just the top grill everything else stays the same so as you can see there thousand dollars and 300 uh, for those colors <coughs> And the license plate, right. Okay, so now on to the nitty gritty of it. Uh, let's go over here first. Here is the uh, 180 horsepower model and um, very well behaved. The um, workers like it. 180 horsepower cultivator, no problem. Yeah, so very nice there. Uh, so as for beacons, yes, beacons, lights, very well lit. 
We do have L1 and right stick left and right opens that driver's door and up and down opens that back window and that's really all there is for options which is nice. Uh, inside, oh inside, full, there we go, yes L1 and X, no, that's, let's, uh, let's drop that cultivator. Hmm, and I know there's a tilt steering somewhere, and let's move forward here. Toggle, toggle, no, where is it? I thought it said... Option wheel offset, option, oh, okay, so no... Oh, there it is. Okay, you have to get out and get in and automatically. Weird. Okay, so that's... Ooh, okay, no tilt option. Right, okay. Well, that's fine then. Um, so these two, I have the 165 uh, horsepower engines because those are the two different transmissions. Right, so let's hop into this. This is the standard transmission, so gears, right? Let's set the worker. And there he goes, nine miles per hour. So that's pretty impressive, 165 horsepower. And he's actually up to nine miles per hour pretty instantly uh, with a much heavier cultivator. Now, if we pop over here, let's set it down, move forward. Set him off the worker. Again, very efficient, up to nine miles per hour and seems to operate equally as good and equally as powerful as a matter of fact because um, these are only 165 horsepower this is 180 horsepower cultivator so very impressive there I like it and that's pretty much it for this it's a nice um, I'm not gonna say simple but it is uncomplicated um shall we say and well and and works very well has some nice options does have a front loader option as well if you want to use it for a yard <clears throat> tractor and so forth that's the massey ferguson 6s by krkz modding 21.47 megabytes to download 23 slots on console thank you for watching i'm looney farm guy and remember it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.